Hello everyone and welcome once again to Let's Play Skyrim. Last time when we left off we had just finished making our way through the Volkehar ruins up to the balcony where we discovered the entrance to the Soul Cairn in Valerica's laboratory. We now have the ability to enter the Soul Cairn having been transformed into a vampire lord by our pal Serana. My next task, the reason I've bailed and headed outside, is to raise up the Vampire Lord Perk Tree and get the Vampire Mastered Achievement. You can see our eyes there and our lips. We've, we're, in, we're in stage one right now, so other than the glowing eyes, we're fairly unobtrusive. Let's turn into a Vampire Lord and explore our powers. just like uh, beast form except we've got raise dead in our left hand and we've got an absorption spell of sorts in our right this is when we're levitating if we hit the sneak key we can touch down and use melee attacks with our claws instead. I'll generally be using magic. I find it much more powerful. What else can we do? If we hit sprint, we can, well, sprint is pretty straightforward. If we hit Z at the outset, we are able to teleport by way of the bat's power. If you look here, we've got Vampire Sight, Revert Form, and Raise Dead. So let's revert our form right quick. Because uh, one particularly important thing to note, you'll notice we don't turn... We don't turn naked like we did in wearable form, and there's no wait period. We can immediately change back, willy-nilly, as often as we like. Finally, let's look at the perk tree. Vampire Lord. Kill enemies with the Drain Life or Bite Power Attack to earn perks. Each new perk requires a few more feedings. That that much is just like being a werewolf. So we have to kill either with the red spell in our right hand, that's the Drain Life spell, or if we go melee, if we've got someone in somewhat weakened condition close by, you can do a power attack bite. That only works on a human, and that'll also charge up your perk meter. I'm just going to run around and kill shit with the Drain Life spell. That's, in my admittedly limited experience, definitely the easiest way to do do it. Notice that we can just uh, float over the water rather than go swimming. That's kind of cool. So, let's go find something to kill. If we use Drain Life, it'll work on creatures or on people. It doesn't matter. And... Once we get our first perk, which I think will happen on our fifth kill, we'll explore the tree in a bit more detail. Did you see how little damage this does? Even at level 252, this part's kind of a pain in the ass. Lifeblood absorbed, perk progress increased. There we go. So there's our first. There's another mud crab over here. Note that the uh, this drain life spell does do some splash damage. You don't have to get a precise hit. That's pretty cool. As long as something's inside the radius, it'll work. So there's our second kill. 
I can tell you at the outset you need 156 kills to fill in the perk tree. So that's two down, 154 to go. Yeah, I know, it's not ideal. It'll get a little better, although we're never going to do much more damage than this, unfortunately. Which is why uh, I don't tend to take this form into the Soul Cairn. Not for, not for combat use, anyway. Where the hell did it go? There it is. One hundred fifty-three to go. Two more for the first. Right, there's your proof that you can just swim from Ice Water Jetty to Castle Volkihar and back. There's no real need to uh, We still got the lifeblood. That's all I care about. Oh, fuck me. Really? Probably need to revert to deal with this. Yeah, I do. Yeah, trying to fight a dragon. in that neutered vampire lord form just isn't a good idea. So let's let's handle this little distraction, then we'll kill our fifth uh, mud crab there and get our first vampire lord perk. I will also note that we have effectively cured ourselves of lycanthropy by doing this. We are no longer werewolves for what it's worth. Now well, I guess Serana killed the mud crab that I wanted to get. Oh well. And now she's raised it. Even better. That's okay though. There's our frost dragon. We may as well go ahead and grab the soul. I just need to find a fifth critter. I would hope for a mud crab, that'd be easiest. They should be mud crabs and horkers should all be plentiful over here. Here we go. Serana finished it off while it was not under the effects of my Drain Life spell. Not cool, Serana.
There we go. First Vampire Lord perk available is going to be Power of the Grave. 50 point bonus to health, magicka, and stamina as Vampire Lord. Let's grab that and let's look at these others. We have Detect All Creatures. Night Power. Detect All Creatures, even Dwarven Automatons. These are powers that you can use while in the form, much like bats, which we start out with. We have Mist Form. Transform into an invulnerable mist while health, magic, and stamina regenerate. Supernatural reflexes. Everything slows down while you move faster. Those are your night powers. Over here you have blood magic, which are spells that use magicka, just like the drain spell I've been using. Can pull a creature to you from a distance and do choking damage once it's close. Summon gargoyle. Can conjure a gargoyle to fight for you. Corpse curse. Target is paralyzed. And then here in the middle, we've got Blood Healing. Killing a person with a power attack bite restores all your health. Unearthly Will. Night powers and blood magic cost 33% less. Poison Talons. Melee attacks do 20 points of poison damage. And Night Cloak. In combat, you are surrounded by a cloud of bats that feed on enemies within melee range. So we've got 151 kills left to get. I'm going to do these in this order. I'm going to go Unearthly Will, then Blood Healing, then Poison Talons, then Night Cloak. Then I'm going to get all the Blood Magic. Then I'm going to get all the Night Powers. I'm going to do this off screen just because, as you can probably tell, getting 151 kills through the Drain Life spell is going to be exceedingly tedious. And if we want the perk, we just have to knuckle down and do it at some point. So I'm going to do that off screen. I will rejoin you 151 kills from now. And for you, it should just be a momentary hiccup. I'll see you when it's done. Hello, everybody, and welcome once again to Let's Play Skyrim. Well, actually, I forgot it's just been a hiccup for you. It's been... A few days of off and on grinding for me, but, uh, I figured I'd show you the very end game of what we have going on here. I'm over near Windhelm at the moment. Trying not to aggro everybody there is. But uh, if you look at my perks, I decided to bring you in for the completion of the tree. I've got one, maybe three kills left to unlock the last one, which is Supernatural Reflexes. figure I'll show you the other stuff, though, because it's neat. That cloud of bats you see around me is the uh, proximity trigger that you may have seen. I've got Corpse Curse, the blood magic in my left hand. This is Detect All Creatures, a night power. Which actually works quite well, as you can see. We're going to Corpse Curse this, uh, these two snowy saber cats. And then they're strong enough that I prefer to melee them. Although, for some reason, my melee key wasn't working. On that first, on that first touch. So let's paralyze these two again. And try again. We just need to make sure we actually finish them off with the uh, life drain spell. Do that with the first one. And our other Vampire Lord perk is available. So let's dive in. Supernatural Reflexes. There's that. And just any second now, we should be getting the perk, or the achievement, Vampire Mastered. Acquire 11 Vampire perks, 53 out of 75, or 70%. That's awesome. So now we can revert form kill everything else normally vampire blood boils in the sunlight but we all uh, understand what those weaknesses are so I don't particularly care 
We're much more powerful in our standard form anyway. So I don't care all that much about it. Let's do a couple of things right quick, though. Let's go ahead and search the homes here. Next thing for me, I've decided to uh, actually play through the Soul Cairn if I have to with the weakened soul effect. Your vampiric powers grow as you hunger. Vampire seduction added. So I killed some things with power attack bites off screen. That actually counts as feeding and keeps you in stage one. So that fast travel from Windhelm down to Fort Dawnguard. It had been long enough since I fed on a human that I progressed to stage two. Which is fine. Now, nobody at the Dawn Guard will trust us when we are a vampire. Oh good, I retrieved Serana. Probably by fast traveling because she had disappeared. Grab some bolts, why not? I'm mainly looking for the quest givers. Cause they'll direct me. Oh look at you. What have you done? <laughs> You've gone and got yourself turned into one of them. Well, RK isn't going to intervene. Not here. Not now. Best point yourself towards Morthal. Find a man named Thalion. He can help you. Now go now, please. Or you lose control of yourself. Started. Rising at dawn. Speak to Falion. Falion in Morthal is rumored to have studied vampires. He might be able to cure the condition. Indeed he can. Just to save ourselves a little time, we're going to bounce to Windstad Manor now and grab that filled black soul gem we have saved. Your vampiric powers grow as you hunger. So we're in stage three now. You'll notice if you look at yourself, your appearance does visibly deteriorate as you move further and further into the condition. So... Can I help you? Let's just search our chest, grab our filled black soul gem, because we'll need it. Not this time. Since we're here, let's visit Shavi for the monies. Unless she proves too hard to find, in which case we'll just bag it. We'll check the girl's dresser for any new books. Uh, Souls Black and White. That might be new. Let me check my list. Nope, we've read that one. It's good, though. All right. She said she'd show me how to bake it. So I'm not sure if it'll let me into the soul cairn or if it'll force me to become a vampire again or if it'll let me play with the weakened soul effect, but I realized that it was both important to get the vampire mastered perk or achievement, not perk. And if I could to also deal with the weakened soul effect in the cairn and complete that miscellaneous quest. So, easiest way to find Falion at his little summoning circle at the right time of night is to go to the Apprentice Stone and head due east. So let's do that. Right around here. If you're really trying to be accurate, it's actually closer to due east of this little thing. It's 
It's right over here. Seems like Falion may not be here yet. Which is fine, but we'll want to find him here. Though it looks like he's in his house right now. That's fine, we'll head there. Uh, with Dawn Guard installed, even if you progress all the way to level 4, people, vampirism won't make people hostile unless you actually put yourself in Vampire Lord form. That's even true at level 4. Whereas without Dawn Guard installed, if you're just an ordinary sanguinary vampiris, what Lord Harkon and his ilk would call feral vampire. If that happens, then you will. Can a man have a... What the... I'm going to say I need to convince uh, Thalion to come outside, but... Looks like we're going to have to deal with a vampire attack first. Always fun. Especially if you're trying not to hit all the other NPCs. Just want the arrows. Looks like we got death hounds. That's pretty easy. Well, damn, we got the, uh, what's he called? We got the traveler, too. This should be good. What the heck? Oh, don't you freeze on me. Looks like we're going to have a dragon. Everybody's pulling out their bows. Except I think the game is actually freezing on me. Isn't that great? You tried to... Well, despite needing to curse out the game, I think I managed to hit the stop recording video in time to keep the uh, video file intact. And I've reloaded the autosave before the, before the crash to desktop, so... We're still going to have to deal with the damn vampires. Well, the Traveler has engaged us. Oh, for fuck's sake, are you kidding? Alright. These vampires are becoming a real menace. Here's the Nightmaster Vampire. He's down. Here's your Death Hound. He's down. Here's your other Death Hound. He's down. Here's your fucking Traveler. He's down. There's your goddamn Dragon. But I don't see a... a good friend to me. That means something. I don't see a hostility dot, so maybe, just maybe... He's simply gonna do a flyby. Anyway, with all that activity done, let's see if we can convince Fallion to come outside. Just so I can talk to him. Get out of here. You're not supposed to be in here. This is the last time I Hmm. How bizarre. Have you seen my mother? I'm still waiting for her to come home. What the hell are you doing in Fallion's house, kid? Well, let's wait an hour. Let's go. My mother must be waiting on the other side of that thing. And it looks like with that, we were able to convince Fallion to go to his little summoning circle. Yeah, that's got to be him right there. Well, let's head out. I wonder if I can recharge my bow now. Nope. 
That's fine, just fine. Let's just head over here. Let's be done with vampirism. Carol Lidgrad is sticking to him like glue. My talents are much needed here in order to keep Morthal safe. I've heard you're an expert in vampirism. I know many things. I've studied things beyond the reach of most humans. Traveled the Oblivion Plains, seen things one should not see. I have met Daedra and Dwemer and everything in between, and I know enough to see a vampire where others would see a man. Someone there? Oh, for fuck's sake! Just fucking lay off with the encounters game. At least while someone is actually talking to me about a quest I have to do. All right. Everything in between, and I know enough to see a vampire where others would see a man. How can you be so sure I'm a vampire? I met several of your kind during my studies of life-extending magics. I even considered becoming a vampire myself. In the end, vampirism would endanger my ward Agni, which would defeat the intended purpose. I'm looking for a cure. It is possible. I know of a ritual, but have never performed it. It requires a filled black soul gem. You will need to kill someone. When you have a gem and have filled it, return to me and I will perform the ritual. I will bring life to your dead body, vampire. Completed. Speak to Falion. Bring a filled black soul gem to Morthal. Falion and Morthal can perform a ritual to cure vampirism. He requires a filled black soul gem. I should be careful not to be blood starved when I meet with him, or he won't trust me enough to help. My talents are much needed here in order to keep Morthal safe. How do I get a black soul gem? They are rare things. I have one I picked up during my research of the Oblivion Realms, but it is a precious item. Don't care. Mm -hmm. Please remain indoors at night. It is dangerous to go outside. I have a filled black soul gem. Very well. Meet me at the summoning circle in the marsh at dawn. We shall banish the creature you have become. Completed. Bring a filled black soul gem to Morthal. Meet Falion at dawn. Mm -hmm. Okay. Falion and Morthal can perform a ritual to cure vampirism. I need to meet him at the Black Marsh at dawn for him to perform the ritual. I should be careful not to be blood-starved when I meet with him, or he won't trust me enough to help. Let's go. My mother must be waiting on the other side of that thing. Morthal is a troubled... So dawn, I think, is at 6 a.m., so three hours will be almost perfect. It's my duty to see it rest in peace. Speak to Falion. Okay. Let's get this over with. As you desire. Let's go. My mother must Completed. Be Speak to Falion. Wait for Falion to complete the ritual. I call upon Oblivion Realms, the home of those who are not our ancestors. Answer my plea. Let's As go. in death, my mother must be there is the new life. In Oblivion, there is a beginning for that which has ended. I call forth that power. Accept the soul that we offer. Let's go. As the Another sun ends the, ends the night, end the darkness of this soul. Return life to the creature you see before you. Let's the go. Ritual My mother must be waiting on the other side complete. of the Completed. Rising at dawn. Falion and Morthal has cured me of vampirism. If I ever contract it again, I should contact him. My talents are much needed here in order to keep Morthal. Alright, good. So we've completed Rising at Dawn, which is actually on my quest list. The final side quest in the town of Morthal. So that category is eliminated as well. Now let's head back to the Castle Volkehar balcony, back into Valerica's study. 
Let's just see what happens if I try to go into the Soul Cairn now. I promise to try and make this as painless as possible. Hold still. I promise to try and make this as painless as hmm. possible. Well, that's interesting. Clearly, I'm locked into some sort of glitch. Let me try the autosave again. I promise to try and make this as painless as possible. Hold still. Yeah, but what are you gonna do? I promise to try and make this as painless as possible. Hold still. I promise to try and make this as painless as possible. Hold still. <sighs> I promise to try and make this as painless as possible. Hold still. I wonder. to try and make this as painless as possible. Hold still. Well, it may be she's trying to do the partial soul trap. And it may be... Oh. Collision off. That's not helping me. I don't know what I'm going to do here. Let me back out of the video and I'll pop right back in a minute. Okay, I'm looking. We've got a variable to set. We can set DLC. Well, I think first we need to back out of here. Yeah, my, uh, my chosen order of operations, I believe, has crippled things. We're going to have to toggle the right variable, I think, before we go into Valerica's study or we're going to get auto-locked in. So, here's what you need to type. Set DLC 1VQ04 Soul Trapped to 1. And that should, I think, add an active effect called Weakened Soul. Well, that didn't happen. Might not happen until we go into the Soul Cairn. If this doesn't work, I'm not actually sure what we're going to do. Let me quick save. Right outside. Save myself some time. Let's go. My mother ah. must be waiting on the other side of that thing. Okay, good. So that, uh, now it's behaving as though we were partially soul trapped. So let's pop into the soul cairn. Just like that. So next time. Completed. Chasing Echoes. Started. Beyond Death. Locate Valerica. So. With Chasing Echoes done, I'm going to take it off my Dawn Guard quest list, obviously. And we're now on Beyond Death. Serana and I have stepped from Valerica's laboratory on Tamriel to a plane of oblivion known as the Soul Cairn in order to find her mother, Valerica. Serana strongly believes if we can find her, she will be able to tell us the location of one of the Elder Scrolls. We need to decipher the Tyranny of the Sun prophecy. Beyond Death. 
Serana and I have entered the Soul Cairn in pursuit of her estranged mother, Valerica, and the Elder Scrolls she took when she fled Castle Volkihar. So the Soul Cairn is huge and kind of awesome. I'm going to keep an anchor save outside. And we're going to tackle it next time. Next time on Let's Play Skyrim. Until then, thank you so much for watching my little vampirism detour. If you enjoy my videos, please consider clicking an ad, liking, sharing, or subscribing, any or all of which really help me out. Regardless, please know that I really do appreciate the time you spend watching, and hope you have a fantastic day. Bye-bye.